Hi there, my name is Rajat and welcome to my budget desk setup for 2019. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm running this game like Bugsy Boy. I'm running this game like Bugsy Boy. I'm running this game like Bugsy Boy. Alright, so the first thing on my budget setup is the Dell Instron 15.6 inch 15 7000 gaming laptop. Now, I have the base configuration for this laptop and it pretty much does everything that I need it to do. It comes with an i5 7 generation processor with 8, with 8 gigs of RAM and an NVIDIA G GeForce GTX 1050 graphic card. The storage that I have is normal hard drive with 1 TB of storage. So the laptop is pretty good. I at first when I first got the laptop I didn't actually like the keyboard but as I got used to it in a month or two I really like the keyboard now so it's really good. Uh, the, the body of the laptop is made out of plastic all the way around and it's not that durable. Uh, the back side of the laptop is aluminium I think and the speaker wheels are really good as well. Uh, it slows down a little bit when I'm multitasking on it. Uh, the screen on the laptop is pretty much okayish. It's not that great. It is not that bright but it pretty much does my task because most of the time I'm inside a building or in a class in the university or sitting in the library. Uh, the laptop does make sound when uh, whenever I'm playing a game or something like that so the fan is really loud and it gets really weird when I'm sitting in the library and the laptop starts making loud fan noises but pretty much apart from that the laptop's really good. Alright so the laptop I got was last year in December and uh, this year I wanted to build my setup uh, for so that I can have a desk setup complete at my house, so it's gonna have a bigger screen. So I mo I move forward and I got my first monitor. Uh, the monitor that I'm currently using is the HP VH240A 24-inch Full HD monitor. The it's great. Uh, the viewing angles are great. I usually have a small desk, so I don't move around much. The major drawback that I have with this monitor is that it starts lagging after a while. So yeah, that's it for my monitor. The second thing that I had to buy that I didn't realize while buying this monitor was that speakers were really, really terrible. So I went forward and I bought the cheapest uh, speakers that I could buy on Amazon. So I got the Logitech Z200. These speakers are quite good. No desk setup is complete without a good pair of keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I'm rocking the Microsoft Ergonomic Wireless Keyboard and this keyboard is just really good. Uh, but the only, it has like kind of two drawbacks that I would say. The first one is that it doesn't have a caps lock on key, which could indicate whether my caps lock is on or off. It feels really irritated because whenever I'm typing a password or something like that, and it doesn't show that I have typed in the password in caps lock or not. And the second thing that I hate about the keyboard is that it has a FN key at the right corner of the keyboard. But apart from those two things, the keyboard is really good. My typing has improved. I enjoy typing on this thing. Plus, the keyboard comes with a separate numpad, so you can just keep it or you can just remove it. And it doesn't take much space, so I usually move it up to the corner right next to the, my speakers. Alright, so the mouse of my choice is the Logitech MX Master 2S. Now, I know that there's like, <clears throat> if you follow YouTubers, you probably have seen this mouse in their everyday video. So like I have been following so many YouTubers like MKBHD, then there's Jonathan Morris. So I had to get this mouse because it's just, it just is really good. It feels right in my hand, it's flawless, um, connects very well, there are literally no drawbacks and I love the infinite flow on this thing and it's just really great. So yeah, that's it for my mouse. Now moving on to the next item on my list is the Vertical Laptop Stand by Omaton. I saw a Dave 2D video of about like a year ago or something like that and he showed a vertical desk stand and it's a double desktop stand holder so it pretty much holds my laptop and my iPad which I'll be talking about next in the video. So yeah, uh, the monitor, uh, the laptop vertical stand is really good. It pretty much 
uh, holds and is stable for my desk setup and keeps my laptop out of the way so I have enough space for my keyboard and my mouse and my laptop is always sitting in there I just pull my laptop to boot it up and then keep it back right there it pretty much solves my problem of space over there so if you're someone or maybe you need a place where you can dock your laptop I would suggest this one uh, plus you can uh, shift it to like different positions so that it can fit your any size gaming laptop so my gaming laptop sits there my iPad sits there alright so now for the tablet of my choice I bought the iPad Pro to 11 inch 2018 with base configuration with 64 gigs of storage I just take notes every day on this thing and maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos on it that's it that's my usage only so I waited for one week before ordering this thing because I was not sure whether I was going to use it or not and since then I have been using and doing my homework assignments my projects presentations I use it at my second display alright so last but not the least my smartphone of choice for 2019 I'm rocking the OnePlus 60 mirror black edition with 120 gigs of storage now I actually wanted to buy a Note 9 or maybe a Pixel 3 but I, it didn't seem like a good idea to invest a thousand dollars thousand dollars on a smartphone that I'll be using only for a couple of years and it it's just really really good for the price I love it a lot the display is really beautiful uh, the wallpapers pop up really well because of the teardrop that you see at the top of the display and it's pretty much edge to edge display but except for the top teardrop at the top the camera on this thing is also really good the stabilization works almost seamlessly and the whole video except for well I was recording the OnePlus 60 I used a OnePlus 6 yeah so the OnePlus 60 recorded I recorded the whole video on the OnePlus 60 in 4k at 60 frames per second so you can see the uh, video quality of this thing and I think it's one of the best deals you can get and 29 deal alright so that's it for my all the products I'll make sure to link each and everything down below so you guys can check these products out. Alright guys, that's it for my budget desk setup for 2019 video. Have a happy new year, happy holidays, peace.